kick off tonight with a very unfortunate incident where seven people among them are tourists and a guide have been confirmed dead after water swept them away in the tragic flood incident at the Hell's Gate National Park. A similar incident was witnessed in 2012 where seven members of a church group died when they were washed away by floods at the same spot, a dangerous area prone to flash floods during the rainy season. Now Chris Sambo kicks us off with details of this report. A family outing to the world's famous Hell's Gate National Park ended on a tragic note after six of them and their guide were swept by flash flood Sunday evening. Six family members were part of a group of 13 family members from Nairobi were taking an afternoon visit to the park. <laughs> After being assured that it was safe despite the drizzle, the group accompanied by two guides went to the gorge but according to family members who spoke to the press, the sudden flood swept their kin one after the other as they watched in horror. By yesterday at 7pm 7, 7 we managed to recover one body inside the park but uh, this morning we started the operations uh, very early in the morning at 6 and uh, as we report now we have been able to recover five more bodies around Suso area. They washed away right from the gorge to Suso area. Ivraj Sin Ayero's family was swept away, said they had been informed that the area was safe and that the guides would control them in case of an emergency. Uh, at around 3 o'clock, water came out of nowhere. And I had my phone in my hand and I was able to call the guy at the reception desk where we paid the entry fee to go down. And we told him, get this. And the Kai next to me also shouted, and we thought rescue will come, but nothing. And then next minute, I see family going one after the other. According to Ayer's brother Diljar Singh, he received a distress call from one of the family members and tried to call officers from the Kenya Wildlife Service, but no help was forthcoming. So he called Hell's Gate at the reception and informed about the incident. So they asked me for a few details, you know, who are they, this and that. I said, my brother guys are stuck, can you find out? And they, they didn't have any audacity to call us back. They didn't call us, zero communication from them. We've been calling them. I've called them more than 15 times. They did not even call us once to say what has been happened, who has been rescued. Then we had to call our family members in Nevada and Nairobi, apparently, who came in on time. Addressing the press, KWS Central Rift Assistant Director Agri Maumo said the tragedy occurred after heavy rains pounded the hilly areas of Longonot with some water finding its way to the gorges. The bodies were found about 30 kilometers from the scene of the tragedy. What we normally do is that uh, we don't, uh, during rainy season, the gorges are no on so on. But you know, like yesterday, we didn't have rain there, but these are flashlights, it rained somewhere and uh, it just came with that notice. And, Unfortunately, that's what happened. The tragic accident comes seven years after a similar incident left seven youths from PCN Nairobi dead after being swept by the flood of the gorges in the Hellsgate National Park. Chris Sambo, KUTV.